Hey everybody! For those of you who are new here, my name is Alora. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the book Winter Song by S.J. Jones. It's the story of a girl named Weasel who is this very talented composer, but she has always put her siblings before herself and so she's hidden away her musical work and her, her genius in order mostly to let her brother shine. This really is a dark, winding fairy tale of her journey into the underground. Now it's broken up into three parts. The first part follows Liesel as she goes to rescue her sister Kath, who has been kidnapped by the Goblin King. The Goblin King happens to be a friend of Liesel's youth, so Liesel has to set out on this journey to get her sister back. Each part really is distinct and I very much appreciated that. I don't want to give away what the second and third parts are because I think those would be spoilers. And this is a spoiler free review, so I'm not going to do that, but that's what the first part is. The writing was incredibly atmospheric, SJ Jones used lots of delicious, sumptuous words, and I loved that. For people who appreciate storytelling that focuses more on showing rather than telling, you might not like this one as much, but I personally really enjoyed it. The character dynamics in this story were interesting. Liesl was a well-developed character with complex emotions and a clear character arc. However, for some unknown reason, even to myself, I didn't really ever feel for her. I did not get attached to her as a character. I didn't really care what would happen to her. <laughs> That's a really bad thing in a book. Also, there were very few other characters. The story really focused on Liesl and her relationship with the Goblin King and with her siblings. And beyond that, the other characters were so small, they were just completely sidelined. Didn't really get into the romance. I've heard that this book was originally intended to be a standalone adult fantasy novel, and so the romance as it was originally written was pretty hot and heavy, but then when they decided to translate it into a YA novel, they had to take a lot of that out, and I feel like that transition ended up being a bit awkward. It didn't feel like nothing, but it also wasn't explicit, and so it was just kind of uncomfortable is the best way that I could describe it. There was an element in this book that was very unique, and that was the musical element. It was very ingrained into the text, which was really incredible for a YA. Unfortunately for me, though I love, love to appreciate music, I don't know much about musical theory, so a lot of the depth of this novel was lost on me because it was so heavy on the musical theory. It was a great addition though to give the talent like that to our protagonist, and I really did like that about this story. Speaking of Liesl, I also want to mention how much I appreciated that Liesl was not beautiful. She was not beautiful at the beginning, and she was not beautiful even when she put on pretty dresses and had her hair done in braided, fancy updos. She still wasn't beautiful, and that was great representation for YA. You so often see these beautiful women, beautiful men, and they don't have any flaws, or they start out the story thinking that they're ugly, and then you go through, you know, you get a third of the way into the story, and then you have this magical transformation, this Cinderella moment of makeover, where you realize that the ugly or the plain protagonist is actually a great beauty that no one saw underneath her plain clothes and the smudged dirt on her cheeks, which is ridiculous, by the way. Um, but this book didn't have that, and I really liked that. And Okay, I want to talk about one more thing that I disliked about this story, and that was the repetition. Even though I said that I really appreciated the writing style, which I do, I really do appreciate the writing style, and I love just how rich and luxe it felt, um, the author really repeated herself a lot. There were several phrases that she used ad infinitum. Uh, one example is tall, elegant stranger, one was the austere young man, one was you, entire, and the number of times that those phrases popped on, up in this book was astronomical. It was probably, probably about 10,000 each as a conservative estimate. It was just, it was crazy. For fear of spoilers, I don't want to say anything about the ending other than that I thought it was the best part of the book. Overall, I really enjoyed the story and loved the dark, twisted, fairy tale feel to the book, but there was something missing from it that kept me from truly connecting to the characters, and so for that reason, I decided to give this book a 3.75 stars. In my opinion, it's worth reading for sure, but it's not going to go on my favorite shelf. 
Have you guys read this book? What did you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Before we go though, let's take a moment to appreciate this cover because it is really pretty. I did just do a video about my most beautiful covers on my bookshelf, so check that out if you haven't seen that one yet. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again very soon, and until next time, stay happy, stay healthy. Bye guys.